hello thank you so much for your patience and your purchase of my Karen special I'm going to talk about what's blocking you financially messages from spirit and insight upon love let me connect with your energy I feel like you're like you're swimming or you're racing like you're doing something like you may not be doing this like you like you may not be swimming or racing I feel that you're reaching a goal is what I'm picking up strongest with and it's like you're swimming or you're racing to that goal I feel like there's a lot of growth going on within you um I feel like either within 10 weeks or 10 months like things are going to be very nice for you I'm picking up more 10 weeks I will say um for some reason, I'm picking up, like, you may hear something on the news or some information about a nuclear bomb, like, sorry, nuclear bomb. I don't know why. Maybe um, something within your life is exploding, and now you have a new campus or a new platform to, like, rebuild upon. So that's really interesting. I do feel like a lot of newness is coming into your life, so that's beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. You're definitely transforming. I just keep picking up on images of transformation and like really nice stuff. So that's really cool. I also feel like you're doing it to be careful of frogs during this time. People who you think are cool or trustworthy and they are not. Okay, inside upon love, the cards. I do feel like within this lifetime is meant for you to meet a companion. Okay, so extra card wants to pop out. You have, yeah, okay. Wow, oh, cool. I'm about to say something, but never mind. <laughs> okay. When it comes to finances, blockages for finances, I feel that you do need to get out of your comfort zone. And it's time for you to explore new things to be honest really interesting with that with me talking about like you creating a new campus or you're creating something new the ten of swords popped up and i do feel that you are going through a new transformation when it's involving money i just feel like you need to be patient with things during this time and you definitely need to get out of your comfort zone do jobs that are that you would probably never do um I feel like you are meant to be around people like you're meant to um wow okay yeah you're definitely meant to like interact with people to be honest with the two of cups and I feel that you are also able to help others with a time of need but I feel like you need to have strength because I'm picking up a sense of judging with you like you are afraid of maybe your own expectations or you're afraid of what people feel about you I feel like also you need to be mindful of like what you already have and be very thankful of those things because I feel like you've came a long way I really really do and now it's time for you to like really branch out i, f I feel like um if this is going to be a really good time for you to become very local or expand your business locally but i just keep picking up on advertising with this card with the seven of pentacles um so maybe start a website if you haven't already business cards try to get a commercial a billboard do flyers because it's, it's time for you to like gain fame some way somehow but i do feel like you need to definitely get out of your comfort zone <laughs> okay messages from spirit really interesting because with the knight of wands in this deck this displays someone who's just really rambunctious someone who's ready for adventure someone who is definitely stepping out of their comfort zone and i feel that this is what your angels want you to do as well you got the ten of wands so i feel that 
stepping out of your comfort zone like you want to but there's a sense of fear there's a sense of like there's a lot of your there's a lot on your shoulders or I feel like you may be thinking too much into a situation and once you really experience it like it's gonna be really cool you have a lot on your plate and this is also gonna be a really good time for you to just explore for you to let your hair down for you to have fun Traveling would be awesome for you, like uh, taking a vacation from work. Because you definitely have a lot on your plate. And I can tell that like people are really relying on you. But I really feel like you're going to be successful either way. Alright, let's see what's going on with love. Really interesting, okay. Soulmate. It's safe. It's safe for you to love. I wanted to say it's safe for you to love again. <laughs> Separation. Separation was the card that wanted us to come out. I do feel that you may be meeting a soulmate really, really soon, which is very odd because I talked about like you meeting a companion within this lifetime. But maybe you and this person, like if you've already met this person and you feel like a legit, um, a legit, uh, feeling with them i wanted to say a message so you need to be mindful of the messages that this person is giving to you during this time so you may be talking to someone right now or you will meet someone in the near future who's going to have the traits of your soulmate or who you look into a soulmate but i feel like this person they may be fairly disrespecting the person, um, not person, sorry, they may be uh, disrespecting the relationship. I feel like I feel like you attract a lot of soulmates. To be honest, you've attracted a lot of twin flame relationships, and a lot of them have been very, very toxic. I do see that you definitely need to pay attention to the messages that each person is giving to you and if you're talking to someone right now ask yourself do you feel pressured into doing something do you feel forced do you feel like the relationship is forced I feel like it's safe for you to love yourself again and it's safe for you to let people go because I wanted to pull some extra cards for you tying into the separation because I felt like okay why is this separation new love release your ex Keep an open mind and honeymoon so I feel that like if you do have any exes coming back or like if you are with someone and it feels kind of weird you may need to go through a separation to see if this person can change and to change yourself during the process and maybe you and this person can come back um, as a new love because the energy is going to be different or a new love is going to come into your life. I feel like you need to let go of any regrets or burdens or disappointments from previous relationships that are affecting you subconsciously. Or they're affecting your current relationship. And this may be for the person who you may deal with in the near future, if not now. But if you do decide to let this person go, keep an open mind of... Uh, who you need to attract during this time because I feel like the person who you're going to be with is going to be very unexpected for some reason and I feel like every day is going to feel like a honeymoon with this person yes you guys may argue and you may fight but I feel yeah yeah I feel like yeah I feel like um you're going to know if this person is legitly meant for you and made for you and if you don't feel this way now, especially if you're talking to someone, then you definitely separate and focus on yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And hopefully I'll hear from you soon. Take care. Bye.